Hey guys, it's the color of boom here and today for the vlog and blog we're going to the Shar the Sharja Islamic Culture Islamic Civilization Museum. It's another museum. Uh, hopefully it'll be fun. I have no idea what to expect but uh, I'm very interested in Islamic museum so uh, in Islamic civilization and culture so hopefully it'll be interesting and we'll see you guys there. These are pieces that they put on the Kaaba in Mecca. Or pieces of the covering that they put on it. These or these long pieces are stripped across and then these square pieces are supposed to be at the interjections supposedly where these connect. And they're called Qandil uh, or Qandli or something like that, which is supposed to because they're supposed to, the design looks like an turn. So, we just finished the first section, the first room. Apparently there's four, maybe five rooms. We didn't really understand that perfectly. We thought we were listening to these to guide us through the room. The first room was about Islamic faith. The next room says that it's about uh, science and technology. So that should be interesting. This is a surgery table. I'd love to have surgery on this. We just finished at the Islamic science section. And now on to the next one, which we don't know what it is. It's on the other side, way over there. So I guess we'll see. It's an elephant club. You guys remember this one? This was Arabian Baturumo. That's pretty cool. I guess. So, we just came out of this gallery. So, what it seems to be is that there's three or maybe two rooms that are like dedicated to talk about certain things, and they're downstairs. There's two over. There's two over there, and I believe there's one down right underneath me somewhere. And then upstairs, there's four rooms. And each room is a gallery. So, you gallery one. Gallery 2, and over there is Gallery 3, and on the right should be Gallery 4. According to the map that they have, I don't know, some of this stuff has been a bit missing. But in any case, so the galleries don't seem to be about anything specific, they're just kind of general. So we finished Gallery 1, and I'll probably just, I probably won't make a video after every gallery. I'll just update you when we finish with the last gallery. So, see you there, you guys. I just finished the fourth gallery, so that's the last of the galleries, the places where they've just kind of got a bit of everything showing. Uh, and so we do believe that there is one more room downstairs that we missed, so we're going to go down and look at that room. Um, I don't know exactly what it's about, but I'll give you guys an update when we're done with that. Um, but right now we're on the third floor, which is its not a whole floor, it doesn't span across the whole um, museum's length like the other floors do. It's just a dome that I don't know, I'm about to show it to you <laughs> that was specially decorated for the zodiac. So it's got like constellations and stuff on it. So you can see whatever zodiac sign yours is. So, as you guys can see, it's pretty cool. They've got like paintings and stuff along with the constellations so you can see what your thing, what your zodiac sign is supposed to be. 
I mean, it doesn't give you a way to figure that out, you just have to know yourself. But at least it's nice that they have some artistic stuff. And I'm creating an echo here, which is kind of cool as well. But <coughs> in any case, I've got a cafeteria here, but it's closed right now. So we're gonna head down to the last room and see you guys when we're down there. Hey guys, we just finished at the last room. Um, which is like a, a momentary room, momentary exhibitions. So it's like uh, just whatever exhibition is going, you know, it keeps changing uh, depending on what other museum or whatever wants to exhibit something. So this, um, we got here just on the last day, it turns out, of the calligraphy uh, exhibition from a Malaysian museum, so Arabic calligraphy. It was pretty cool. Uh, there'll be some pictures on the blog for sure that you can go look at. But in any case, so we're done at the museum. We're done with the museum and we're going to be going home now and I'll catch up with you guys when we get back. Hey guys, we just got back from the museum, the Sharjah Museum of Islamic Civilization. In the video, I said, earlier in the video, I said that it was the uh, Sharjah Museum of Islamic History and uh, Culture. I believe I said that, and that is wrong. It's Islamic Civilization. Um, and I'm going to try and make this brief, because I could talk for a while, but I've noticed that the last few videos have been really long because I talk too much. So I'm going to try and make this brief. Uh, I'm just going to talk about the museum and our trip there. So the museum is cut up into eight rooms and a dome, or a dome sitting area. Uh, there's four rooms. On the, when you walk in, there's the, uh, the, like, the desk that receives you, the, of course, the reception desk. And to your right, there's two rooms. And the museum is like, and you would have seen it, and if you didn't see it, they had a model of it there that I took a picture of. So then you'll see, like, you can, if you go to my blog, you can see the a picture of it from up above. But in any case, the museum is, like, really long. Not really, really long, but it's pretty long. Uh, so it's like, uh, it's shaped like a bar. And then in the middle, it's got like an extra round area and a dome on top. So down to the right, there's on the bottom, on the ground floor, down to the right, there's two rooms. The room, so like if you were walking down that way, the room on your left is all about the religion of Islam. And that room was okay. It wasn't like super interesting to me because because I mean I already know about it, but it was I like how it was made and all that. Um, I like how it was put together and it's, it clearly is made for non-Muslim people, but it's still you know it wasn't like oh wow this is so dumb. Yeah, it's interesting to see it, people talk about it. And the room on your right is all about inventions in the Islamic world. Not necessarily Muslims, it has to be, but just in the Arab world, basically. And so that was probably my favorite of all the rooms, because they had so many interactive pieces and it was just, it was so clever. Like, this museum that, this museum is state of the art, even though it's not the newest museum around. I mean, it's, I don't, I don't know exactly when it was founded, but it's not very old, but it is like, it's really like everything's there you have the listening the listening guide and everything it's like very and every room has something interactive in it and so the reason that i like the inventions room the most is because it had the most interactive stuff and so like it showed you some stuff like the astrolabe which was used in astronomy as you might guess by the name and they had surgeon related stuff they had like farming stuff and all that 
and they you have like little buttons you could press and little touch screens that you could play around with that taught you about things and I learned like a lot of interesting things from that and that's why I really like that one like uh, they talked about this uh, Muslim astronomer in Tajikistan who apparently uh, uh, decided that the earth revolved around the sun 500 years before Galileo did which is crazy but and I didn't know that but uh, anyways down to the left side of the ground floor on your left if you walk down that hallway on your left is a cafeteria and a gift shop on your right is a room dedicated to just special like whatever special thing is being shown there at that time so it keeps changing people come to show off different things you know you obviously must like do some contract or something and they get like a week to show off whatever they want or anything like that and the day that we went there we went there the day before uh, the, there was a calligraphy thing going on calligraphy from Malaysia I believe it was so it was like Islamic calligraphy or Arabic calligraphy so and so they had like a bunch of just paintings of calligraphy on the walls and I really liked some of those I don't think I got any videos of it because it wasn't very video worthy but I got pictures of my favorites especially and you should definitely look at the blog for that because there's they're pretty cool but um, so we're lucky that we caught that because it was gonna be ending in another day um, but we looked at that last which you'll see in the video that's the last part because we skip we went down the right side and then we went up to the second floor and we came to that last but on the second floor if you go down to the right there is no central desk area now instead there's just like a ring around and there's like just opens it like just an empty area in the middle so down to your right so the whole second floor is galleries gallery one gallery two gallery three gallery four, gallery four and that's just where they show off pieces so like it's mostly historical stuff so they've got art stuff and so they've got pottery and they've got anything from pottery to lamps to clothing to weapons to statues to just books and like they have a lot of um, display uh, recreations of things which I really think are cool and I took some pictures of some of my favorite things some of those my favorites of those because I liked a lot of the stuff that was in those rooms and they would definitely fit in my second favorite area if it weren't for all the in amazing stuff that was in the inventions room and then the last floor the third floor is just the middle area there's nothing that stretches out to the sides it's just the middle area and that's where the dome is and the dome the inside of the dome has been painted with the zodiac signs with zodiac like uh, it has all the constellations and then on the constellations that form the zodiac they've painted paint pictures of each zodiac symbol I think it's really cool and the whole area that you use that's like it's all encircled by like a bunch of sofas and couches that are really comfortable by the way and uh, one cap one like small cafeteria that was closed at the time um, and we've been there uh, one or two times before to like watch lectures to like watch someone speaking and they usually hold it up there under the dome so a person talks in the middle and everybody gets to sit on the couch couches uh, and so that's pretty cool just to look at that's not anything as informative as the rest of it is although if you know your zodiac sign it doesn't show you how to figure out your zodiac sign but if you already know yours it's nice to see where it's placed and what it would look like if it was fully drawn and painted and everything but in any case after that we went down to the calligraphy area we got ourselves some water from the cafeteria we looked through the gift shop there's some interesting stuff there some not so interesting stuff but you know it was fine either way I really like the museum I would highly suggest anybody who's coming over here to visit or even someone who lives here but hasn't seen it before I would highly suggest you go see it if you want to skip certain parts it's fine each part is just in and of itself amazing 
So, but definitely don't miss the dome. And I would suggest that you go to the um, inventions room. But in any case, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, link to my blog is in the description. Much better pictures than the videos for sure. And I'll see you guys next time.